Hey, Dwight, wondering if there's anything different that, uh, that you focus on with this group of starters, so when you're in there with LeBron and AD, specifically in the front court, and then how uh, that might apply to the matchup with Jokic in this specific series. Uh, well, I just try to go in and uh, be a star in my role, uh, play uh, great defense, uh, get, get as many rebounds as I can, uh, control the paint, and uh, make sure uh, – Take, take pressure off uh, the rest of the guys on the floor on the defensive end by just being active, uh, communicating, and uh, making sure we get, uh, get a stop every time now or force them to one shot. Got it. And then anything specifically about Jokic and uh, the challenge that he presents? Uh, well, you know, uh, he's, a, he's a great passer. Um, He's a very smart guy on the, on the floor, so uh, with him, you just have to, you know, uh, use your intelligence uh, against him, and uh, just knowing where he likes to get to on the floor, and you know, just make it difficult for him to score over the top. Hey, Dwight, it's Dave. I'm sure there were times in your career when you were the focal point of your team's offense, where there was an opposing player whose part of their strategy was to be an agitator uh, when defending you. Did you draw on any of those experiences and apply that to the role that, that you're playing now in this, this series? Not at all. Um, just going out there and doing my job, working hard. Uh, and that's it. Hey, Dwight, it's Bill Warren. Uh, Pulling back and going big picture a little bit, when you consider your history with this franchise and the fan base and, and the journey you've been on over these last eight years, what does it mean to you to, to be playing the role you're playing and, and be, being such a pivotal piece of getting this team, this franchise, within a game of the finals? Uh, nothing in the past matters anymore. You know, it's all about this moment and just doing whatever it takes to win. Alex? Kyle? Uh, Dwight, um, obviously had a very impactful first half. Um, it looked like there was a moment in the fourth quarter when Marquis fouled out that, that you looked like you might be ready to sub in. Um, you know, how, how did you respond to that moment, not getting in the game in, in the critical moment, and, and where are you kind of sitting with that today? We won the game, and that's the only thing that matters. Dan? Um, the first eight minutes or so in the first quarter, um, it seemed like, I mean, your energy was even, I think, at a different level than typical. Did, do you think any of that had to do with kind of the news that you were going to start? Was that something that you caught that you decided, like, I need to come out and really make myself felt in this game? And how did you balance sort of that energy with trying not to foul, too? Uh, just, you know, like I you know, said earlier, just using your intelligence against a guy like Joker. Um, you know, obviously, uh, the way he plays uh, is different from what, you know, us bigs have been accustomed to in the past. Uh, so playing without fouling, playing without being too physical and aggressive at times, especially early in the game, was uh, key. Uh, also knowing that uh, early in the game, he doesn't want to pick up a uh, quick foul. So, uh, just being aggressive on the offensive uh, glass uh, and just trying to get every rebound. Uh, so it doesn't matter if I start, if I come off the bench, if I play five minutes, I'm always going to have high energy and uh, give this team any boost I can, uh, even if I'm sitting on the bench. Kyle? Um, Dwight, uh, you, you guys, obviously, you guys know about Denver's history with the 3-1 leads and, and how dangerous they've been in that position. What sort of your mentality, what do you think the team mentality is approaching this game five? It's simple. The job is not finished. Any Anything that you have discussed about sort of making sure that you finish the job? Go out there and dominate from the first quarter to fourth quarter. Don't worry about the refs. Don't worry about missed shots. Just go out there and do what we do best and play Laker basketball <clears throat> and uh, get a good win. All right, back to you, Tanisha. Uh, 
So, Tanya. Hey, Dwight. We've been talking to some of the other guys just about the, um, the everyone's disappointment with the uh, news from the Brianna Taylor case a couple of days ago. Um, and a lot of guys have talked specifically about Ron. Right there. All the other talks specifically about Rondo being from Louisville and how this is kind of an added layer of difficulty for him because of uh, that connection. Um, I was just wondering what kinds of conversations you and he have had about the challenge of sort of both being here and also wanting to be there for your community in, in a time like this. Uh, well, you know, we've had a, a lot of discussions uh, about you know, certain things, and uh, I would rather keep that between me and him. Well, what, I, what I will say is, for all of us, we have to protect our kids, protect our women, and uh, protect our energy right now. Um, it's, it's a big key for us, it's keeping our energy positive with a lot of negativity that's going around our world right now. Uh, and it's easy to fall into that trap of being negative, but we got to stay positive. Uh, stay, stay unified, and um, you know, really protect our women. Last two questions, Dwight. Uh, we're going to go with Alan Sliwa. Hey, Dwight. Um, you know, there's always kind of the saying on uh, closing out a series is the toughest one to get a be against. Just your experience of being in the postseason for so many years. What, what are some of those challenges and those final games, and some of the challenges that you think you'll face against Denver? Well, they're going to give us their best shot. Um, they're not going to let you know let up. They're a really good team, they're very well coached. Uh, we we understand that. Um, but we're one step closer to our dream, so uh, we're not going to put let our foot off the gas. I think we're going to bring more intensity than we brought before. Uh, we have a, a well experienced group of guys on our team, even coaches. We understand how important this series is. And this game is, you know, and I think we should treat it like a game seven uh, with our intensity and our effort and um, just play as hard as we can. Last question, Brad Turner. What? Well, obviously, you guys are one game away from waiting to the finals, but um, you haven't been in the finals for 11 years, the Lakers as an organization for 10 years. How important is it now you think back to just relish these moments because you never know when it may come again? Uh, well, uh, just stay in this moment. Can't look back, can't look forward. We can only stay in this moment right here that we have. Um, and uh, we're going to take advantage of the moment. So that's all I can tell you.